Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today we're starting another Five Looks and Palette video. I am getting better at getting these out faster and it's a good thing too because I have a lot of uh, ColourPop palettes still. But here we are. So today we are doing one that um, I know got a lot of hype. I personally am not a fan of the franchise this palette is based on, but I could not say no to the color story. I'm a sucker for greens. And that is the Child palette from ColourPop. I, okay, I won't say that I'm I don't like Star Wars because truthful, truthfully, I have only watched the movies. I do not like the movies. And as my husband has explained to me, that is not an unpopular opinion even among Star Wars fans. So I will say I'm not a fan of the movie series, I'm, but I'm also not that interested in watching or playing or reading anything else to do with Star Wars. Sci-fi is not my genre anyway. But, um, I will not say that I dislike it, but I dislike the movies. But I will tell you, I really like this palette. This is what she looks like. And there's a little baby Yoda on the mirror. But there is the color story. It's so, so pretty. I love this. And I cannot wait to use it. So today we're going to do a graphic eye look moment. I don't know. I'm gonna zoom you in and we'll get started. All right, so we are gonna start with the shade Float Your Crib, this dark green. And I am going to take this from my lower lash line and I'm gonna wane it out and then I'm gonna bring this all through my crease in a line. I'm not blending it out, I'm just gonna make a line. So I'm going to then take a fluffier brush and I'm going to take this shade right here called Baby Face, that center shade, and I am actually going to blend this out just a little bit. I'm gonna take the shade Right Hand Mando. Mondo? Mando? I don't know. And I am going to put that all over the blank space on my lid. Oh, that's such a pretty green. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Precious Cargo and I just want to see what this looks like on top of that. That's a little bit more shimmer. It's not like super noticeable. All right, and then lastly, well, hmm. Yeah, I think um, I'll clean this up out here a little bit off camera, but I think we are at the end. I'm just taking Precious Cargo and highlighting with that. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the whole shebang and I'll be back. 
All right, here is the finished look. Hopefully you can't see that this one lash is hanging on by a thread. But, um, so on my lips, I have a combination of a couple things. I have the Fenty Stena Lip Paint in Undefeated. Beautiful color. I have the MAC jo Joy de Vivre lipstick. <laughs> Put a little bit of that on top. And then it wasn't giving me the glossiness that I wanted. So I went in with the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in Clear. And you can clearly tell I used it on top. But anyway, that is the end of the first look. I like it a lot. I feel very cute. I like it. So I will see you guys for the second look. Bye. Hello and welcome back to, or welcome to day two. So I'm gonna do like a smoky eye, I think. I think I could get a pretty nice smoky eye with this. So. I am going to start with Droid Protocol, the brown right here, and I am going to take this on my outer corner and wrap this around the outer portion of my eye. And I'm not being very tidy with this, I'm just getting it down on my eye. Now we're going to take just like a tattooing and we're going to blend that out a little bit. I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush. And I'm bringing that over into the inner half of my crease, just for a little added depth right there. And then I'm just going back over that dark brown and going to blend it out some more. And I, I usually just do this process until I'm happy with how it looks. Sometimes it takes two times through, sometimes it takes four or five, sometimes it takes one. I wish it always just took one try through. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of Float Your Crib and I'm gonna bring that onto the center of the lid because I'm gonna go in with a green on the lid. So I'm just taking that like right on top of that darkest brown and just blending it inward, basically. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade Little Frog, this one right here. And that is gonna go on the rest of my lid. Please don't ask me why I'm not a Star Wars fan. I have no good explanation for you. I just don't like the series of movies. That's it. All right, and now on the lower lash line, I am going to take a little bit more of Droid Protocol and I am going to drag this in about two-thirds of the way on my lower lash line. And then of course I'll blend it out with that, um, just like a Tatooine shade. Hope I'm saying that right. And then I'm going to take the Force 
this beautiful goldeny green shade. And I'm going to pop that on this inner portion of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take Precious Cargo right here and put that on my inner corner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just finish everything up. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, here is the finished look. I have uh, Bite Beauty's Kale on my lips. Unfortunately, it looks like you can't get this anymore, but I have not found a good dupe for it. Um, hopefully I will. Maybe I'll just have to make my own, I don't know. But either way, that is going to be it for this look. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I am going to be doing a cut crease today. And I'm going to start with Droid Protocol. And I am going to put that in my crease. If I can find a brush. There we go. Here we go. I'm gonna wing this out too. And this doesn't have to be pretty, I'm just placing the color down. We're gonna blend in a minute. And then I'm gonna take, what do you call it? Float your crib. And use that to blend that brown. Then, I'm going to take a fluffier brush and a little bit of this light green called Babyface. And I'm just going to continue blending until I'm happy with this. Alright, now I'm going to cut my crease. As you do. Crease is cut. This is an interesting shape. We're going with it though. Right, now, um, go ahead. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to take sipping soup, this green right here, and I'm going to put that on my lid. And then I'm going to take a little frog and I'm only going to bring that out to the outer corner of my eye. I'm not going to wing it out as far as um, the rest of it. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the lower lash line bare. I'm going to maybe put some like, excuse me, white or nude liner in my waterline. But other than that, I'm going to leave it bare. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and do the rest and I'll be back. All right, 
here is the finished look. Um, yeah. It looks weird from this far away, but I think it looks better close up. Anyway, um, the lipstick I'm wearing is from Fenty. It's the shade Freckle Fiesta. It's a burnt orange kind of color. Completely forgot I had this kind of color. Um, but anyway, that is it. See you tomorrow. What time of the day again? Hello. Look, number four. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a liner today. So I'm gonna start with Droid Protocol and then I'm gonna go into Float Your Crib and then Baby Face. I think it's gonna be my plan of action. All right, so I'm starting with Droid Protocol. Also, don't mind if you see like pink around my eye. A look I did earlier today, um, I kept it on for a while after I finished it and the damn eyeshadow stained my freaking eyelids. So, sorry about that. Nothing I can do. But I'm gonna make a wing with this. And then again, I'm taking Float Your Crib. I'm gonna put that on the center of my eye and then baby face is gonna be on the inner. I'm just wiping my brush clean so I don't have to use like three different eyeliner brushes for this. swing. All I'm really doing is just following the crease that's right there on my eyelid. Of course you don't have to make it this thick, but it feels right. So I'm doing it. And then I think I am going to take a little bit of sipping soup and I'm going to use a different brush and I'm going to just sweep that on the center of my wing, not my wing, my eyeliner. And then I'm going to take right hand, right hand Mando. I'm going to do the same thing, top of baby face. Now I am going to take a little bit of just like, just like a tattooing. Why can't I talk today? My God. And I'm going to use that under my eye. under eye is pink. <laughs> I even put concealer on. You can still see it. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go put the rest together and I'll be right back. All right, here is the finished look. I am wearing uh, ABH's lipstick in resin and it's like this grayish, taupey, purpley, kind of color. It's like a grayish mauve. I don't know, but it's a really cool color. I like it. And yeah, that is going to be it for this look. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my final thoughts and the final look. Till then. Hello. Last look, last day. We're just going to do a simple halo eye. Um, cause that's what I feel like doing and I feel like some of the looks have been a little bit more structured and I just want something soft and easy. So I'm going to first go into baby face 
And I'm going to put that on the inner and outer corner. And actually, I might mix that with a little bit of float your crib. Just like the tiniest little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. That's the color I wanted. Also, I did order the Tinkerbell palette that just came out. I'm still waiting for it. And I'm still waiting for that friggin' mystery box I ordered. It truly is a mystery. I got a notification that it shipped and I've heard nothing else about it since. <laughs> I'm trying to use the tracking number and nothing pops up. So either it hasn't gone anywhere since that notification or they're not tracking it. So we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. But I did order that. It has, um, it has shipped, but I am waiting for it to arrive. I think it's supposed to be here this weekend or something. Now I'm just taking more baby face and I'm blending that out. Like I said, we're just keeping it simple. And then I'm going to go into right hand Mando, that shimmer right there, it's so pretty. Oh, so, so pretty. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Precious Cargo and put that right there in the center. Now for the lower lash line, I'm actually going to do browns on the lower lash line instead of um, the greens. Both the browns droid protocol and just like a tattooing and I'm just going to blend them together using more of a lighter brown than the darker brown and I'm just going to buff those out down here. And then using my pinky, I'm gonna go into the force, that like olive color. I'm just gonna tap that right in there. I'm gonna go do the rest of my face. And I'll be back momentarily to give you my thoughts. Be right back. All right, here is the finished look and I'm wearing ABH's liquid lipstick in malt. It's just a nice warm brown. Um, but let's talk about this palette. I I don't know if I mentioned this um, earlier in the week um, but I wanted to buy this palette when I saw the color story but I'm not a Star Wars fan um, and I didn't really like the idea of having a little baby Yoda in my makeup collection. Not that there's anything wrong with baby Yoda. I mean, he's cute, but um, I don't know. I also, I felt bad because since I'm not a Star Wars fan and so many people are, I figured like at least for the first couple months um, I would hold off and really think about it so that people who really wanted it, love the color story, and also love Star Wars might get the chance to have it so um it also gave me time to think about it but I love the color story it also comes with a mirror why don't they put mirrors in all of their cardboard palettes I don't care if they raise the price a couple dollars give me a freaking mirror um <laughs> but anyway um yeah so I love the color story um I just wish the shade wasn't sequined um, it's the only sequin shade in here. It is pretty, but it's, it really doesn't need the shimmer in it. Um, yeah, the mat, the metallics are beautiful. The mattes are great. Everything blends super well. Same quality ColourPop always has, 
wonderful. Um, I think if you love greens, this is great. It's a little bit more wearable than the Just My Luck palette. I will show you. So you see side by side, the Just My Luck palette has a lot more like really bright in your face greens. And this is a lot more toned down, a lot more like olivey tones of green, very wearable. Um, I think you could definitely get away with wearing this to your job or, you know, to like a wedding or something. Like I think, you know, if done right, you can make it super, super wearable. Um, whereas this one, not so much. This isn't even on the website anymore. Are they discontinuing this? Like your one bright green eyeshadow palette, you're gonna discontinue it? I don't understand. Man, I don't know what ColourPop's doing. They came out with that new mega palette. Um, what's it called? It's a mood, I think. And um, I follow an Instagram account that shows swatches of like the new palettes and stuff and they like compare them to other palettes from ColourPop. And you can basically, like this is great for people who can't get the Force, at Foresight palette, um, the, the collab they did with Raw Beauty Christie. You can dupe the entire at Foresight palette with that big palette. Which again, is great if you have not gotten the at Foresight palette, but why not just bring that one back? <laughs> like, so many people want that collab and so many people want to support Christy and like, I just think it's kind of shady. I, I don't know if that's how they intend it. I don't know even if they intentionally did that um, since they like dupe themselves so often if it's just like, they just made these colors, they already had them, they had the pigments all mixed up, whatever, but like, why wouldn't you just bring that palette back? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm 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 upset about it. But um and like I have the palette. I'm upset for people who really want the palette and cannot get it. Like bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Um even Christie is like I don't know why they discontinued it, but I wish they would bring it back. Like even Christie wants them to bring her palette back. It doesn't sound like she had a say in that. And that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Um, anyway, not not what this video is about. Um, I do really like the Child palette. Um, if you like greens, I think these are great quality. Um, you know, I, I think it's great. And I love that they have another green palette that is more wearable while still being greens. I think it's great. Um, so yeah. That's it for me. Sorry about that little rant. Um, but if you agree with me, let me know. Because I would love to know. Am I crazy? Am I on my own here? Because I really don't think I am. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!